Greetings, beloved. I am Ian Levan Zant, and I have a few questions here. You are watching In This Room on Madame Noir. All right, so here's my first question from the Hello Beautiful and Madame Noir family. It says, I've been single for a long time. Does that mean I'm bad at relationships? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. But beloved, it's just, what are you choosing? You're single because either you're choosing to be single consciously or unconsciously, or you're afraid that what didn't work before won't work again, or you're just haven't made your mind up that that's what you want to be. There's nothing wrong with being single. It's not fatal. It's not a disease. I would encourage you to get clear about what you want and believe you can have it. Once you believe you can have it and you're clear that you want it, you'll attract it. Here's our second question. Uh, I like my friends more than my family. What can I do to change this? Well, why would you want to change that? <laughs> why? <laughs> You know, we seem to think that we're obligated to be a certain way towards people simply because we're related by blood. And sometimes the people who we're related to by blood uh, take license to treat us very badly. I want to take you to July 16, 17, and 18 in Acts of Faith, where it says people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Family are lifetime relationships, but you get to choose how to be in relationship with them. And if the reason you have closer friends is because you have breakdown in your family, that's okay. Let your friends teach you how to build better relationships with your family. How do I stop comparing myself to everyone's fabulous lives that I see on the Instagram? This is also a very new phenomenon. So I want to say, uh, two things. First of all, people lie. Because let me tell you something. I have put some pictures on Instagram where my face is beat. And I don't have no bra on. <laughs> and there's a pile of laundry sitting over in the corner. Please, y'all. You don't know what. People will show you what they want to show you. But this is the main thing that I want you to know. Whether it's Instagram or, or the office or church or wherever. Comparing yourself to others is an act of violence against yourself. Every time you compare yourself to somebody else, you are committing an act of violence against your soul. Instead of wanting to be who they are, work on being the best of who you are. Get comfortable with being exactly where you are, as you are. Work on the things that you want to strengthen and the things you want to release. And stop, stay off Instagram. Then you won't know what they got and how they lying to you. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you could see my house sometime when I be doing the Instagram things, you would run screaming from the room, okay? 